Old Town Scottsdale merchant and civic activist Marilyn Atkinson literally grew up in the gift shop and Indian jewelry business. With her dad, Herman Atkinson, and her mom, Phyllis, she moved from her birthplace of Portland, Maine, to Box Canyon, New Mexico, where her parents ran a small cafe in a hogan. The family's first real home was located outside of Grants, New Mexico, and although it had an outdoor cook oven and outdoor plumbing, Marilyn considered the dirt floor to be designer quality. The Atkinsons are considered one of the pioneer Route 66 families. We had Route 66 at our front door, the railroad tracks in the back, and a fabulous view of the Mesa beyond, Marilyn recalls. Over the years, her father worked with her grandfather, Al Peterson, to build houses and a business to include Indian handicrafts and jewelry, a grocery store and gas station, as well as a zoo. The zoo was filled with desert creatures and reptiles, as well as a bobcat, billy goat, and a burrow named Home Brew. The zoo definitely suited Marilyn's adventuresome nature as she teased both the bobcat and the goat. With Annie Oakley as her heroine, Marilyn played cowboys and cowgirls with her brother Pete and cousins. And as Annie, who had grit and could handle anything that came her way, the cowgirls always triumph over the bad guys. In learning to be salesmen, Marilyn and Pete would also set up their own store just outside their parents' view and sell borrowed merchandise at a lower rate until caught in the act. Marilyn later discovered a more profitable way to earn spending money was to give tours and lectures on the reptiles. At the end of each tour, she was given a nice tip. In 1954, the Atkinsons relocated to Arizona and opened Atkinson's Indian Trading Post in downtown Phoenix. Marilyn attended Balt Elementary in North High, where she left behind some of her tomboy ways, joined the pep club, and dressed up as a young lady to attend school proms and dances. After high school, she attended ASU, taking business and architecture classes before marrying and becoming the mother of three. Marilyn is proud of her children. Son Derek is an attorney in Northern California. Deanna resides in Southern California. And Don works in the family business, Herman Atkinson's Trading Post, which has been located in Old Town Scottsdale for 25 years. Over the years, I found Old Town to be a wonderful area with the same small town atmosphere, Marilyn says. Dad became president of the Old Town Merchants Association, and I would help with various projects. By helping Dad, I found myself in the midst of taking on more projects. In time, she became the first elected woman president of the Old Town Merchants Association, and to date, the only father-daughter team to have served in that capacity. Even as a busy career woman and a single mom, she managed to squeeze in some advertising and marketing classes at Scottsdale Community College. She also has studied painting and crafting, enjoys gardening and sewing, and does her own home repairs. This Martha Stewart, however, does not hire out. Nor does Marilyn take for granted the sense of history in Old Town Scottsdale. She works to preserve it. Old Town is a place to love, and it brings out the pioneer feeling, she remarks. Over the years, I have raised more feathers than just about any hen in the barnyard, because once a city's history and its roots are gone, that's it. There's no going back. Sadly, it simply disappears. With this in mind, she pledges to passionately protect the Old Town District in its 105th year. In her quest to keep abreast of the town's development, she has served on numerous committees. With the late Eric Denk, she was the co-founder of Scottsdale Focus, serving as its president. Helped Scottsdale 2020 lead the fight against raised medians, served on Scottsdale Chamber's Downtown Committee and the Trolley Committee, chaired the Old Town Streetscape Committee, the City Transportation Committee, and was a founder of the historic Old Town Scottsdale Supporters, a group organized to prevent inappropriate restoration of Old Town's western facades. Instilled since childhood with the adventuresome spirit of Annie Oakley and the creativity of a Martha Stewart, please welcome Old Town's spirited activist and protector, Marilyn Atkinson, into the Scottsdale History Hall of Fame.